Can you see the crack in the heat exchanger? There it is right there. Uh, it's about three inches long. I think maybe a little bit more. Now let's think about this. This was every test that I could think of to do, I did. There was no change in the flame when the fan went on. There was no change when it went to high speed. There was no CO either in the vent or in the airstream. So, it's still a cracked heat exchanger. Is it dangerous? I would not run the furnace if I knew it had that crack. Uh, it just it just would bother me, but it does not show it at all. I think the only way that you'd find that thing is to actually open up the ductwork and the supply and look. That's the only way I can think of that you'd ever detect that crack. So this one was kind of a fooler. It uh, didn't show any signs of anything wrong with it. And uh, you guys are probably knocking yourself around trying to figure out what, what the heck was supposed to be wrong with this silly thing. But it cycled perfectly. And yet it had a crack in the heat exchanger and a pretty good size one. Now one thing you note, this heat exchanger crack has not moved at all. It has not, the two halves have not gone in or out. Eventually they probably would. And of course that's when you get your upset flame and probably your CO. Okay, here's the CO detector placed into the vent pipe. So we got 10 parts per million. Now, let's check right over where the crack is. Okay, I'm checking right above the crack. We're in high fire too. Zero parts per million. Effectively no CO reading. Anyway, this one was just done to show you how we can be fooled where something actually has a crack and there's really no way to detect it. So that's it on that uh, real live crack in the heat exchanger.